Hello and uh, good morning folks, uh, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the VW Passat Estate. This is the 2 litre petrol version, uh, it's done 143,000 miles, uh, been a company car and then one private keeper with a really good service history, we've got all the documents and all the keys, it's a real proper car this. Uh, it's been busy but it looks absolutely spot on for its age and its mileage to be fair and bearing in mind that it is about 8 years old and it's done 143 and I think you'll agree with me it looks very sharp indeed about one of the uh, best condition high mileage cars I've had for a long time um, right so this is a little video tour just to talk you around the vehicle uh, I bought it yesterday I've done 20 miles in it and it's not Mr Beat drives perfectly very nice spec as well including a sunroof so it's the Passat Highline uh, 130 bhp uh, petrol five-speed manual and as I've said, 143 with nice long MOT until April next year. Uh, bear with me if you uh, really want to see the detail. If you've uh, had enough, then obviously switch off and look at another one. But um, OK, so uh, a high line like this, uh, this would be a useful car for somebody not really travelling too many miles because obviously the mileage is high, but the price is relatively inexpensive. So it's a cheaper vehicle because the mileage is high, uh, but it still looks a really nice car. And 2 litre fuel economy, well it's not too bad, it's not going to be the cheapest thing to run. Uh, we do have 1.9 diesels and 2 litre diesels, but uh, at the moment uh, we're just going to concentrate on this one. There's no tax with this vehicle, a little star brake in the glass there. Uh, it's got a windbreak for the uh, uh, sunroof and it's the factory pre-select sunroof with the roof bars as well. Reflex silver, uh, highline spec, heated seats cruise control, fingertip control, hi-fi, multi-function steering wheel, headlight wash, front fog lights, alloy wheels, remote locking, uh, it's got the lot really, it's not got sat nav but uh, you can have one of those in for pretty cheap money, uh, also auto wipers, auto dipping rear view mirror and I should have auto lights on, it's not got the HID lights I don't think, uh, pretty sure, didn't put them on yesterday they didn't appear to be, uh, front fogs are quite nice to have on these as well, Right, tyre-wise, let's have a quick look what we've got here. So, looking in there, those pads are relatively new, actually. I can see they are. I don't know if you can just make them out in there. They're not uh, long been on. Uh, Bridgestone Charanza tyre, they're on 16-inch wheels. 15-inch uh, wheels, actually. It's not bad. Pretty forgiving ride, actually. Uh, so, 15-inch uh, Bridgestone Charanza. That one there is a bit better than half-worn. Plenty of meat to go on that. Um, 205 60R15 is the tyre size if you're interested. Uh, this is a Charanza Bridgestone and he's got plenty of wear to go on that one. And this one's got practically new pads and calipers in the back as well actually, so that's good news. Chrome trims, parking sensors, rear wiper, high level bright light, mud flaps all round as well. Oh, lovely tyre there, he's absolutely spot on. Again, a nice new caliper nestling in there. And this one here, yeah. So you've got no spends to make on your tyres immediately. All good. Uh, indicators in the rear view mirrors, and we'll go and check the history out. Okay, welcome to the uh, service history section then for this VW Passat Highline model, 130 bhp, 199 grams per kilometre of CO2 output. Uh, two owners, one company keeper, and then a private keeper, which changed hands in April 2007. So the last keeper's owned it for quite a number of years there, look for five years or so. Uh, two keys, service history and MOT. Current MOT is valid until April the 23rd, 2014. Uh, previous MOTs go 141, 129, 117 and 106. The uh, advisory information is zero, nothing advised on the last MOT and on the MOT prior to that, so all your old MOTs are there and no advisories for the last two MOTs. Uh, service history book, um, supplying dealer city gate, Collingdale, London. Uh, your engine code is ALT and uh, it's a 96 kilowatt, uh, which is 130 brake. Uh, the previous keeper has been quite meticulous and marked up uh, individual things in this book, um, which are relevant to its servicing. So someone's had uh, good a high level of diligence and uh, the stamping in the book goes 17,000 miles, uh, 33,000 miles, 51,000 miles, these are all Smith, Knight and Fay, um, 46,000 miles, we've got a Type 2 service here, uh, all long, long life servicing, 81,000 uh, in 2007 and that was when the tooth belt was changed as well, 
94k, so that's a Campbell to 94,000 miles, Tudor Garage, Heritage Automotive, main VW dealer at 104 in 2010, another Heritage stamp at uh, 120,000 miles in 2011, and a VW Audi Specialist, by the looks of it, in Bristol at 136, just done at 3110 2012, 136,000 miles. So uh, going on that really should be uh, an oil change coming up for it, but uh, there we go. So that's the documentation as it stands. Hello and uh, good morning folks. Uh, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the VW Passat Estate. This is the 2 litre petrol version. Uh, it's done 143,000 miles. Uh, been a company car and then one private keeper with a really good service history. We've got all the documents and all the keys. It's a real proper car this. Uh, it's been busy but it looks absolutely spot on for its age and its mileage to be fair. And bearing in mind that it is about eight years old and it's done 143, I think you'll agree with me, it looks very sharp indeed. It's about one of the uh, best condition high mileage cars I've had for a long time. Um, all right, so this is a little video tour just to talk you around the vehicle. Uh, I bought it yesterday, I've done 20 miles in it and it's not Mr. Beat, drives perfectly. Very nice spec as well, including a sunroof. So it's the Passat Highline, uh, 130 bhp, uh, petrol, five-speed manual, and as I've said, 143 with nice long MOT until April next year. Uh, bear with me if you uh, really want to see the detail. If you've uh, had enough, then obviously switch off and look at another one. But um, okay, so uh, a Highline like this, uh, this would be a useful car for somebody not really travelling too many miles because. Obviously the mileage is high, but the price is relatively inexpensive, so it's a cheaper vehicle because the mileage is high. Uh, but it still looks a really nice car. And 2 litre fuel economy, well it's not too bad, it's not going to be the cheapest thing to run. Uh, we do have 1.9 diesels and 2 litre diesels, but uh, at the moment uh, we're just going to concentrate on this one. There's no tax with this vehicle, a little star brake in the glass there. Uh, it's got a windbreaker for the uh, uh, sunroof and it's the factory pre-select sunroof with the roof bars as well. Reflex silver. Uh, Highline spec, heated seats, cruise control, fingertip control, hi-fi, multifunction steering wheel, headlight wash, front fog lights, alloy wheels, remote locking, uh, it's got the lot really, it's not got sat nav but uh, you can have one of those in for pretty cheap money. Uh, also auto wipers, auto dipping rear view mirror and I should have auto lights on, it's not got the HID lights I don't think, uh, pretty sure, Did put them on yesterday, didn't appear to be. Uh, front fogs are quite nice to have on these as well. Right, tyre-wise, let's have a quick look what we've got here. So, looking in there, those pads are relatively new, actually. I can see they are. I don't know if you can just make them out in there. They're not uh, long been on. Uh, Bridgestone Turans are tyre. They're on 16-inch wheels. 15-inch uh, wheels, actually. It's not bad. A pretty forgiving ride, actually. Uh, so, 15-inch uh, Bridgestone Turans. That one there is a bit better than half-worn. Plenty of meat to go on that. Um, 205 60 R15 is the tyre size if you're interested. Uh, this is a Charanza Bridgestone and he's got plenty of wear to go on that one. And this one's got practically new pads and calipers in the back as well actually, so that's good news. Chrome trims, parking sensors, rear wiper, high level bright light, mud flaps all round as well. Oh, lovely tyre there, he's absolutely spot on. Again, a nice new caliper nestling in there. And this one here. Yeah, so you've got no spends to make on your tyres immediately, all good. Uh, indicators in the rear view mirrors, and we'll go and check the history out. 